random from the integers 1 to 96 inclusive what is the probability that n n plus 1 n plus 2 will be divisible by 8 so the first thing that i want you to understand is that n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 is basically the multiplication of three consecutive integers and then we must observe the properties associated with the multiplication of three consecutive integers we always understand these properties only when we write a few numbers so we should always write a few instances and then try to understand them for example if n is 1 1 into 2 into 3 2 into 3 into 4 3 into 4 into 5 so i'm writing a few cases <clears throat> now let's quickly see what's happening when we take three consecutive integers multiply them in context of them being divisible by 8 so the first thing is we see in the first case when n is 1 is it divisible by 8 we see no it is 6 that's not divisible 2 into 3 into 4 yes it is divisible by 8 3 into 4 into 5 no it's not divisible by 8 4 into 5 into 6 <coughs> yes it is divisible right so that ways we have to just keep checking when is it divisible and when is it not divisible we realize that it always goes alternative except in one case see this is no yes no yes no yes 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 so this is an anomaly that we see now we should understand what is exactly is happening and whenever this even see the answer is always yes and the reason for that is if n is even then n plus 2 is also even and when you take any two consecutive even integers you always realize that one of them is a multiple of 2 and other one of them is a multiple of 4 see in the next case also it happens in the next case again it happens one is a multiple of 2 other is a multiple of 4 all the numbers in circles are multiples of 2 all the numbers in rectangle are basically the multiples of 4 and that is why 2 times 4 is becoming basically 8 and the result is divisible by 8 that means out of 96 values that we have to choose from if i choose any even value i can certain i can be certain that the answer will definitely be yes half of them will be even so 48 will always give me the answer yes out of 48 odd values now there may be several anomalies now we have to see them 789 is one such case for instance <clears throat> what is happening here is see this is odd 7 not useful this is 9 which is not even not useful but in between the only even number that we are getting itself is a multiple of 8 and that is what is making the entire result to be a multiple of 8 that means whenever n is odd then n plus 2 is odd so n plus 1 itself should be a multiple of 8 for the result to be divisible by it so how many such cases can we have one such case we already have 7 times 8 times 9 the other case will be 15 16 17 the other case will be 23 24 25 the other case will be 31 32 33 that means every case in which the middle number is a multiple of 8 and how many multiples of 8 do we have from 1 to 96 so that can be calculated by 96 divided by 8 so that is 12 that means out of these 48 cases there will be 12 cases which will say yes to our question and 36 will still say no so our favorable cases now count to 48 plus 12 that is 60 and the total possibility that we have is 96 so our probability becomes 5 over 8 and that's our answer alternatively you could also have seen that out of every eight cases you will see we have five yes so that was also we could have just figured out that out of eight every five cases are yes so the probability of the result to be divisible by eight should be five by eight however that's very long method because in that case you will have to write even more instances to be sure and this method is more technical at the same time we should keep learning the properties of these numbers and we should learn to infer these properties <clears throat>